I don't know how I feel about this angle, but hi, welcome to another vlog. I am a little bit knackered tonight. It is past nine in the evening and I am going to attempt to go for a walk very quickly, very shortly, because there's still sunlight, which is very exciting to me. But I have been so busy today, but I wanna give a quick intro to this vlog so I can then go for a walk before I lose the sunlight. That's the plan. So hi, welcome to Beth is a bit of a mess because I've just been so busy the last few days. I've been doing some changes in my flat that's gonna be coming in a video very soon that I'm really excited about, but it's been hard work and I've definitely really thrown myself into it. So I feel a little bit exhausted from that because I've been working a full day and then I've been doing that in the evenings after work. So it's been a lot, but I'm really pleased with how it's looking and I'm pleased with how the vlog's coming along. So it's all worth it. And it makes the point of this vlog even more worth it as well, because the point of this vlog, I wanted to do a vlog that was centered around a busy weekend whilst also having cozy and calm moments. Because I think when you get really busy, it's hard to find those little moments. And this is bank holiday weekend that I am very, very busy during. So I want to try and find those moments of calm. For example, going out for a walk in a minute, just literally for 10 minutes, just to have a little bit of quiet time and a little bit of time to just breathe in some fresh air. As much as I've had the windows open all day, it feels stuffy and it feels hot in here and I just want that space. So that is a kind of little overview for what this vlog is gonna be, just finding little moments of cozy within a busy weekend. As for the busy weekend, I will tell you what I'm up to. So tomorrow I'm going to Comic-Con. There is a book event that is happening in Comic-Con that I've been invited along to. So I'm going with my friend Connie from Connie Reads on Instagram. I'm really excited. I went to this a few years ago and I think it's changed quite a lot since then, obviously before COVID. And I think it's changed quite a lot since the time I went, probably 2019, I think that was. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how it is now. So that's gonna be Saturday. Sunday, I'm going to Hey On Why Festival, Hey Festival, which is a book festival that I am so excited about. I haven't been before. I'm not going to be including that in this vlog though because I'm going to be doing a separate vlog for that so that will also be coming very soon. On Monday I'm going to see my friend Immy from Mythic Reader on Instagram. I think we're just going to chill in the sun, maybe have a picnic, read some books. It's just going to be a nice relaxed time so hopefully that feeds into the the calm cozy vibe of this vlog as well. My brain feels so busy at the moment but I do love this kind of feeling of having lots on so I hope that you enjoy this vlog. I'm really looking forward to the weekend and taking you along with me. Before I get any further into this video, I want to tell you about today's sponsor, Udi. I'm really excited to be working with Udi today and especially to be sporting one of their green tie-dye Udis. These are so comfy and so cozy. I'm a little bit obsessed with them. They are essentially a blanket with arms. They're made from ultra soft flannel fleece paired with warm Sherpa fleece so you don't ever have to worry about the cold. They come in some really fun patterns and colors and the pocket can fit a book inside. If you would like to receive $35 off the entire range, you can use the code booksnest35 at check out and find a link in the description down below. Good morning. It's 6.45. I literally woke up about two minutes ago. I slept like shit. <laughs> I think for some reason in my head, I thought my alarm wouldn't go off. I don't know why. Like that's not ever been an issue, touch wood. With this alarm that I've got, I've got the Lumi Glow alarm clock and it's the best. I don't know why, but I just kept waking up every few hours thinking I should be up. So that was great. But now I am up, so I'm gonna get ready. My train is 8.07, very precise. So I'm gonna head down, walk to the train station. I've got my book, which I read more of last night and I'm really enjoying. I think I got a bit more into it. So I'm looking forward to reading that on the train. And I'm ready to go. I am early, but I would rather be early than late. So I'm gonna head to the train station then I can just sit and read when I get there. Also, the sun is coming out. I am so excited. And I'm wearing my Lucy and Yak sunfly jacket also. Guys, this top, I don't think I've spoken about these tops. I've got three different variations of this top. They're from Uniqlo and they have a bra built into them. The bra is built in, they're so comfy. I just needed to share, but this is the outfit for today. I'm off to London to go to Comic-Con.
This is Connie. Hello. Hi. It's so busy, but there's so many good stores. I have a small haul that I will not show you now because you can probably barely hear me, but we're just we're just sat outside for a bit of a quiet chill, you know. It's not a quiet chill. <laughs> really quiet. It's not <laughs> good times. Okay, I think we're done with Comic-Con. It was fun. Did you have fun, Connie? I had lots of fun. It's very, very busy. Good, and now we're just gonna walk somewhere and grab a drink, because it's pretty hot. So I just kind of walked for a bit. Connie has gone home and I thought the weather was too lovely to sit on the train. So I just walked and I am now in Canary Wharf, apparently. I'm back from London. Oh my gosh, so many steps. So many steps have been done today. I think I'm in like the 20,000s. I, I don't know, my watch has died. That, that's how much I've used it today. I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to walk from Canary, no, walk from the Excel Centre to Canary Wharf. I, in my head to start with on the walk, I was like, I wonder how long it would take me to walk back to Paddington. Three hours, that's how long it would take me. I didn't do that. I walked to Canary Wharf, but I went a really stupid way that wasn't very pretty and was very main roady. So it was just, it was a lot. It was very hot. But when I got to Canary Wharf, that was very pretty. Not so where I spent much time. There was an underground shopping centre there as well, which I kind of want to go back to with a bit more time. But I had the option of getting the train that was leaving within like 30 minutes that was a direct train or getting a different train that was leaving half an hour after that and it would have been a train with a change in the middle or I waited for the next direct one so I didn't really have much time but I did enjoy what I saw of Canary Wharf. MCM Comic Con was so good, it was so much fun, I love going to those kind of events and I love just being surrounded by like-minded people that enjoy the same things as you. Also people's cosplays were fantastic. I love the cosplays so much. People go to such effort and it was so hot as well. So credit to anybody who was wearing a cosplay. I did get a couple of little bits. There was loads of stunning artists around and quite a few that I fell in love with and a lot more that I could have picked up, but I got a couple of bits. So I just want to show you what that is. I realized that one of them is in my bedroom. So I'm going to show you what the ones in my immediate reach are. I think my favorite thing that I got that I I knew I wanted to pick up, but we walked around everything first and I came back to get this. I'm obsessed with this. This is a Hyrule art piece. Have I got the artist's name? Geek, Geeky Ninja. Geeky Ninja is the artist. And I just, I love this so much. It's kind of a similar tone to the wall behind me here, if you can tell. I don't know if it comes across well on camera, but it's a similar tone. So I think I might put it on that wall there instead of, I'm doing a bad job of pointing, instead of what is currently there, which is a rainbow light thing. I might switch that out for this or I might put this in my bedroom, I'm undecided, but I love this. Then I also got two little stickers that I might put on my laptop. I haven't fully decided yet. I have the same work laptop and personal laptop. Like it's not the same laptop as in like my personal computer is exactly the same laptop as the one my work have provided me with. And it makes it a little bit confusing sometimes because they literally look exactly the same. So I was kind of tempted to put a little sticker on my personal one just to remind me that that is my personal one. But I don't know, I've never put a sticker on a computer before. If anyone has, does it come off easily when it comes to you wanting to remove them or does it leave a horrible mark? Because the top of a MacBook is very shiny and pretty and I don't want to leave a gunky mess on it. So I got these little stickers, they're little Pokemon stickers. We've got little Eevee, we've got little Ninetales, they're so cute. And the artist, here is the card for anyone interested, is Risu Chu. So I got those, very cute. And I also picked up a deliberately oversized, very cozy t-shirt because I thought this would be really nice to sleep in. And it kind of, I'm reading my bedroom a little bit, which I, I might, have I already mentioned that? I think I have already mentioned it. I don't know, Bl vlogs are blurring into one, but one of the things that I'm doing is changing the color scheme a little bit, and you'll see that in a future video. And it's going a little bit more boho colors, and this fits perfectly, but this is a really lovely t-shirt with a really cute little design on the front, and then on the back it says Wanderer 
I love it. I got it in an extra large. Hopefully it's going to be nice and loose. I don't know if it's one that I will wear other than just like relaxing and chilling about in, but I just, I thought it was really cute. And the artist for this is Greeny J. They, I think might've been one of my favorite artists. They just had so many lovely bits and I just absolutely love this. I did get an art print from them as well, but which I've already put up in my bedroom. So hang on, let me go grab that. Here it is. Isn't it cute? I love this so much. This is from the same artist as the t-shirt. Honestly, such a cute art style. And I'm going to put this on my bookshelf in my bedroom. Okay. That's everything, I think. I am going to do a tiny bit of editing because otherwise I'm gonna get behind myself. And then I'm gonna sit and read because again, the point of this vlog was for me to integrate the moments of calm into the busy moments. I read quite a bit of Dale for aunties on the train to and from London today. It's really funny. It made me laugh out loud. There was a particular sexting scene. If you've read it, you'll know <laughs> that just, I was on the train, like trying not to hysterically laugh. And I think when a book can make you laugh or cry or like physically react in some way, I think that's always a sign of a great storytelling because it's just good fun. So yeah, really enjoying this book. Really wanna keep reading it. I'm about 120 pages in now, which, so I've made quite quick progress since really getting into it yesterday. Cause I think, was I on page 15 or something when I updated you last? So yeah, tearing through it on the train. It's just very addictive writing style, very fun main character's making some very questionable choices and at times I'm like, okay, even for the sake of the plot, you're just being silly now, but it's good fun, so I'm enjoying it. So I'm gonna read a bit more of that shortly. I'm off to Hay on Y tomorrow for the festival. I am vlogging that, but not for this vlog. I have three vlogs going on at the moment. I don't know why I've done this to myself, but I'm gonna edit a bit, then I'm gonna sit down and read. Okay, here's the plan for today. It's Monday. I'm picking up Imi from the train station. I was about to say from the airport. That's a bit extreme. I'm picking up Imi from the train station soon. We're going to grab some food. We're going to go to a castle ruin in my town. We're going to sit there. We're going to chill with the food. We're going to read. We're going to eat. We're just going to relax and I'm so ready for it. And then this evening, I'm having another cozy evening because I feel like it is thoroughly needed at the moment. I have had such a busy weekend and my brain is just yelling at me to take a break, as is my body. <laughs> Both want me to sit and chill. So that is what I'm gonna be doing this evening. I am still really enjoying Dial A for aunties, and yesterday was fantastic as well. I said I'd be doing a separate vlog for the whole Hay trip, and I, I will be, that will be live after this one? I don't actually know, before this one, it, it'll be live soon. But as you can tell from the state of me, I'm a little bit <laughs> out of it today, but I'm gonna try my best <laughs> to function as a human being. <laughs> But I'm really looking forward to to just not really having anything big happening today and just being able to sit and chill. I got myself a very easy dinner today, but if anyone wants a good ready-made vegetable pack for stir fries, the rainbow stir fry, rainbow vegetable, sorry, from um, m and is, in my opinion, the best. I've tried a fairly decent amount of them, and this one I feel like has the best range of the best vegetables. Anyway, so I've got this. I've got some teriyaki sauce, some chicken, some noodles. I've just, I'm so wiped out, I need something easy. I mean, look at me. It's, it's a great look. I cannot wait to wash my hair later. I think I'm going to have dinner, watch maybe an episode of The Walking Dead whilst I eat, and then I'm gonna have a shower, wash my hair, get all cozy, put my hoodie on and just chill. Whether that's with a book, whether that's watching TV, I don't know what it's gonna be, but I'm just gonna do that. It's just gone past 6.30 now, so I'm gonna make my dinner and do those things. And I'm very excited. <laughs> about to sit down and watch some YouTube and then I'm gonna go read in bed. I was gonna sit and read but I've decided that I think my brain just needs to just chill a little bit and reset in time for tomorrow for work. I was gonna say Monday but today is Monday. Bank holidays they throw me for Tuesday for work because it's definitely been a really good but really busy weekend. So I'm just gonna sit and read, so, uh, not read, sit and watch some Hannah Lee Duggan who is one of my favorite YouTubers at the moment. She creates content that's kind of van life-y, cabin in the woods-esque stuff. She's got this amazing home that she's doing up herself and she's showing the whole process of it. She's got a load of plants. She just has a really great attitude and great vibe and I really like her content. So if you're looking for somebody to watch, would highly recommend Hannah Lee Duggan's account. But this is 
what I'm going to do for the next like I don't know half an hour or so and then I'm going to head to read in bed. Would just like to throw out there that I'm pretty much living in my Udi in the evenings at the moment because it's essentially a blanket with arms and that's what I need in my life <laughs> because everything is, has been really busy and full on this weekend. I think I've just appreciated even more the moments where I just get to sit down and relax and be as comfortable as possible, even if they're few and far between and even if they don't last for very long, I'm still really appreciating them. And I think that's really important to do if you, even if you don't get a whole evening every single day to be able to sit down and chill or a whole like good few hours, like if some days it's gonna be just an hour or half an hour just take the time to really appreciate that and know how to, to use that time best to kind of relax and just bring everything back together to make you ready for the next thing you have to go and do. That is what I've been trying to do this this weekend and I've been enjoying doing it in my hoodie. It's one of those days where I am so excited to go to bed. It's about to happen. I'm just gonna sit and read in bed for a bit, but just generally, I'm excited to be here. <laughs> I mean, look how cozy. It's so cozy. And I'm just gonna sit there and I'm gonna read for about 30 seconds and then I'm gonna fall asleep and it's gonna be great. I don't know what this vlog has become anymore, but I hope you're enjoying it. <laughs> We have come to the end of this video. I, I feel like this has been a real mess of a vlog, yet has probably perfectly demonstrated the weekend that I have had. It's been a good weekend, but it just feels like one of those weekends where my brain has just been all over the place. And I definitely accept that I put too much on on one weekend, but that's fine. I had a fairly decent amount of time to read, but I haven't managed to quite finish Dale for aunties yet, but I think when I do finish this, it's probably gonna sit around a four stars. I'm really enjoying the direction the romance is heading in. I'm enjoying the chaos that we're definitely fully in the middle. I'm enjoying the fact that we're following this all centering around a wedding and our main character is a wedding photographer. I love photography, I love reading about photography, so I really love that aspect of it. And I love the fact that it makes me laugh out loud. I feel like it's the perfect book for when your brain does feel like it's a bit chaotic and busy. This is exactly the kind of book that I have needed to just appreciate my downtime. So I'm about halfway through. I will let you know full thoughts on this in my wrap up, whether it's in my May or June wrap up. It remains to be seen <laughs> until I, I read a little bit more and see whether I'm gonna finish it by tomorrow or the day after. Basically, I think is gonna be the difference between the May and the June wrap up. But I am wrapping up this video right now. If you did like seeing me in my cozy, comfy hoodie, you can find all the details linked in the description down below and you can use my code booksnest35 for $35 off. Really, genuinely, it's literally so comfortable. I love it. I'm so happy. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Whatever this video has become, I really hope you've enjoyed it and I will catch you in the next one.